For more on this, I'm joined by Mustafa Barghouti. He's the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative and joins me now live from Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Uh, Mr. Barghouti, great to see you. What do you make of uh, Netanyahu's uh, post-war proposal? So, um, it's a malicious plan, uh, but very clear one, and it reflects the actual intention not only of Netanyahu, but the whole Zionist movement and the whole Israeli establishment. It's a plan that declares bluntly and openly its intention to proceed with the genocide of the Palestinian people in Gaza, to liquidate the whole Palestinian issue and Palestinian cause and Palestinian rights, including the right of the Palestinian people of self-determination. It also <clears throat> tries to consolidate the occupation and the system of apartheid in the Palestinian occupied territories, whether West Bank, Jerusalem, or Gaza. But it is a plan for annexation, annexation of the occupied territories. And add to that, Netanyahu is trying to eliminate the right of the Palestinian people to represent themselves, the right of the Palestinian people to present their case or talk on, their, on, on behalf of themselves. And he's trying to kill all United Nations organizations working in the occupied territories, because this is part of his plan of weakening Palestinians to push them towards ethnic cleansing. And on top of them is UNRWA. And the goal of attacking the United Nations Relief and Work Agency is, first of all, to kill the only institution that can provide humanitarian support to the people in Gaza, but also to liquidate the right of the Palestinian people to return to their homes, the right of the Palestinian refugees. UNRWA is very much linked to the UN General Assembly Resolution 194, that spoke about the right of all refugees to come home back to come back home. He wants to liquidate that. But in addition, he's trying to drag some Arab sites, some Arab countries, into the ploy of liquidating the Palestinian cause by offering them a role in liquidating what he calls the Palestinian ideology and so on and so forth. The, what we see here is not only Netanyahu's plan, but actually the Israeli full plan of violating the international law in ev and every aspect of it. And the proof to that is the most recent uh, vote in the Israeli Knesset, where 90% of the Jewish Israeli members of the Knesset, uh, 99 of them, have voted against the, any idea of a Palestinian state or self-determination. That means that all these parties are participating in making Israel nothing but a pariah state, that should be boycotted, sanctioned, and, uh, and uh, struggled against, because what they do is nothing but the conduction of three war crimes at the same time, a war crime of genocide, a war crime of collective punishment, and a war crime of ethnic cleansing against the whole Palestinian population. Mr. Barghouti, let's talk about international politics. Which countries uh, do you believe are likely to agree with this post-war plan? United States of America. Britain, and many other Western governments that have been supporting Netanyahu, and especially the United States and Britain, who participated in this war against the Palestinian people. They're not only supporting him, they are actually participating in this war with their soldiers, with their planes, with their intelligence structures, with their advisors, and with their weapons, and with their diplomatic actions of protecting Israel in the United Nations Security Council and in other places. It is so unfortunate, so unacceptable, but the United States is playing here a very dangerous game that will affect the whole world because it is sending one message. There is no more international law. I mean, if, if any other country has dared to declare what Netanyahu has declared now, the whole world would be talking about sanctions uh, on this government, on this uh, state that is a pariah state. But no, the United States, instead of doing that, it is supporting this plan and supporting Netanyahu and supporting these grave violations of international law. Mr. Mustafa Barghouti, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Thank you.